Oh, friends and neighbors, Swaggy Man Piper 1926 here. Smoking my Peterson uh, Church Warden D16. Yeah, D16. I don't get this out very often. I'll, I'll have to get it out a little more. Uh, once she gets broken, in, it shouldn't. It's not a bad little part. And in it, smoking some autumn stroll. Okay, that's what that says. Be. <clears throat> and if you've never heard of that blend, then obviously you don't know Paladin Piper. Because he, he made that. And it's good. It's it's worked out all the kinks. I've um uh, it's autumn, so he sent it to me in the fall. But I took some, some bulbs out and I smoked a little bit of it. Then put the majority of it in a jar, which is the jar you've seen. And it's basically just been jarred up since then. And it's it's smoothed out quite a bit. It's really, it's actually really nice. If you want to know what's in it, you're gonna to have to ask Pat. But uh, Paladin does a lot of codger mixing. So, if you don't care for any of the Codger blends, or the over-the-counter blends, however you want to call that, then you may not appreciate this blend. I don't know. The more I smoke it, the more I enjoy it. And that's just anything. That, uh, anything mostly Codger or OTC related... Just haven't really been able to agree with half and half just yet. But I haven't tried the new stuff from uh, from uh, the nether from Denmark. So one of these days. Huh. Happy Monday! If I didn't already say that, if there is such a thing. We are working into our second spring here in Ohio. And that's Lawrence County, Ohio, mind you. It's, I'm not affiliated with anything up north. <laughs> I, think, uh, I don't know if they're still in snow or not. Or even even if they got much snow, they may not. Have. Up there near uh, Corbett, Jim. That's still in Ohio. I'm I'm in Lawrence County. I'm I'm at the bottom. Gradually getting a little work done here and there. Got more of the garden dug. It finally, finally occurred to me why all the potatoes died. because I'm an idiot. <clears throat> There's power lines run the, essentially the width of my property. And, you know, they, they come through and, 
they'll they'll clean underneath of it like a few years back when no one was living here they went in and just cut it all like cut all it back cut the cut trees and mulch it up and send it out and you know they, they don't leave a mess but they you know they come through and they cut it. well this past they went through and sprayed it well they I believe they airplaned it because if they'd actually seen what it was they wouldn't have like physically sat there and sprayed it but uh, or helicopter or air because along the line of the power lines was just the row of death of plants so I'm pretty sure my potatoes were close so or they were close and I'm pretty sure that's what got them don't know why it took me that long almost a year to figure that one out I thought I had done something well I did do something I didn't I did something I didn't do something because I should have called them and say hey you know don't spray this you know if you need it cleaned off I'll clean it off Which, you know with all the time I had last year stuff folks y'all need to get over there and sweet talk pal paladin see if he'll uh, share the recipe hmm now y'all something when it comes to blending the more time you can leave it in the jar the better off you are any time I've ever tried to put something together, excuse me, I always go by the um, uh, the the method math uh, the method that matches used, and he said thirty days, because he would mix uh, pirate cake and. Uh, Haunted bookshop, be a haunted pirate ship. But he always said 30 days, which 30 days is good. At least 30 days. Never hurts to have a little more time, but 30 days for sure. <clears throat> well, I don't know how much everyone out there um, paid attention to the news, the weather, over the last few days. Because um, I don't. I look at the, the temperature of the morning and just kind of plan my day like that. Friday, we had a... Um, well, Friday day I had a call from my wife saying that she was been sent home from school early I said I was, I was shocked I said you're kidding why said, well there's this big storm it's already touched down down in Bowling Green Kentucky um, and it's it's working its way here it's going through Tennessee Kentucky and into Ohio I think even into West Virginia so <clears throat> oh wow you know. she said let me know where you're at please come home soon okay so you know I, I finished what I was doing let her know I'm I'm starting the trek to home which was mm, hour and 45 minutes away which was fine, because um, it was it was sunshine outside. But uh, you know, I I make it back, gradually get home. Weather's not terrible. The wind is is moving a lot. I uh, messaged Paladin because um, he's he's in Louisville. 
and didn't know if that was getting toward him or not. And he said he's guess was, I guess it was pretty pretty sketchy stuff going on out there. Because uh, he was like, I'm afraid the windows are going to bust, and I'm like, mm, sounds really bad. You may want to crack those. And it's like that's that's an excellent idea. So hopefully his windows didn't bust. And uh, I uh, I messaged the uh, dreaded tiger, Richard, just to make sure he was in an okay area. He was fine. He was in a lot of wind, but other than that, and I think they had some rain. I didn't have a lot of rain, but that's neither here nor there. But the whole purpose of all this rattling on is um, because they um, because they sent her home with the chance of of uh, you know big storm and everything. She said, and she asked the principal, well, "What about?" Well, will the school lose power? What about my chickies? Her, the incubator. The principal had one of the students, uh, uh, one of the high school students, go get the incubator, take it to her car. And she drove the incubator home. And toward the end we we tend to our house normally shuts down and by shutting down I mean everyone's at least in bed if not asleep pretty much by 9.30 sometimes 10 but usually definitely by 9.30 and so it was getting close to that time getting ready to <sighs> excuse me gracious sakes uh, he's talking about getting tired. <laughs> we were in the process of getting ready for bed, and lo and behold, electric went off. So now she's panicking. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I said, well, we can drive into town. And see if you're, if uh, your aunt's awake, which I, I knew she was, because she, she actually stays up till like one in the morning. And, uh, you know, see if she'll, essentially egg set she did or we did she was and she did and by the time we got back home we had like her Good heavens, I've talked about nothing but Roman for over 14 minutes. <clears throat> well, folks, hope you all take care of yourselves. If you have sunshine, try and get out and enjoy it. Y'all take care of yourselves. And remember, kindness costs us nothing.